I think the, the, the revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car uh, will blow people's minds. Giga Texas takes 76 seconds to roll a car, while the Giga Shanghai takes only 37 seconds. Based on production efficiency, the leaked $25,000 electric car model will choose the Asian factory as the next production location. In a conversation with Monroe about the Model 2, Musk shared that the low-cost car will represent a revolution for Tesla as it comes with an unprecedented production line and is progressing quite far to hint at an early release date. So, how will this third-generation electric car regain Elon's glory when the company is slowing down? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. We welcome you back to our channel, and before we begin, we humbly ask that you show your support by subscribing if you haven't done so already, and kindly ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. All right, let's get started with today's content. We understand that people always want to buy an electric car, but often lack the funds, especially after the price shock of the Cybertruck. Recently, Elon Musk and Monroe had an offbeat conversation about the Model 2. Musk shared some insights that got us excited because it's entirely possible that it'll be launched by early 2025. It's also delightful to note, as we predicted, in addition to Giga Texas, Mexico, and Berlin, Shanghai has shown signs of being selected as the fourth factory to join the production of the Model 2. What did Elon Musk reveal about Model 2 by the end of 2023? We are working on a low-cost electric vehicle that will be made in very high volume. Um, we're and quite far advanced in that work. About this $25,000 vehicle, Musk stated that a revolution in manufacturing would be represented by this new generation vehicle, meaning it has a characteristic design that is nothing like what the manufacturer's done before. Previously, our Model 2 was identified with the potential to be designed in a droplet-shaped style similar to Aptera with many range options. This hypothesis becomes more convincing when an Aptera 250 model also starts at a price of $25,000, resembling exactly what Musk suggested about this car model. Previously, in Walter Isaacson's bio of Elon Musk, an electric car design with an incredibly novel Aptera-like appearance was presented alongside Franz von Holzhausen. This book showcased frame shapes and detailed images prominently displayed on the wall. There's a 70% likelihood that this design is the Model 2, as Isaacson's book also mentions that the Model 2 will be manufactured in Texas, aligning precisely with Musk's recent confirmation. What do you think about the Aptera styling? We still hope it's a fully featured hatchback model, more like a Model Y or Model 3. Let's discuss this in the comments. It is not like any car production line that anyone's ever seen. The Model 2 may bring innovation in the form of an Aptera-like design, but before that, it was suggested to incorporate some similarities in production with the Model Y, such as the interior and exterior system, LFP battery type, and Gigapress technology to accelerate progress and save costs. It could potentially receive significant investments, as Elon Musk mentioned an unprecedented electric car manufacturing line for the Model 2, likely to be highly modern and productive. There is suspicion about the integration of the advanced Optimus robot, AI, and possibly new assembly methods across three gigafactories. If this is what the manufacturer will implement in the Model 2 production line, it is highly anticipated and worth looking forward to. Clearly, Musk has not mentioned this car for a long time until it was initiated by Monroe. When asked about the current status of the $25,000 car, Musk didn't hesitate to mention that the exact unit numbers are challenging to disclose because this car will be produced in large quantities, and seemingly 42 million is what we might know about the lifetime production for the Model 2. It is favored to be produced twice as much as other models combined, which is understandable as it was previously thought to be less complex to prove itself as a simpler and more compact Tesla model. During this time, superchargers are being built at a rapid pace with seven new charging stations every two days. Therefore, from now until the Model 2 is launched, charging stations will not be a significant concern. In addition, Musk added that the Tesla is making significant progress with this $25,000 model. He will be directly involved in weekly assessments of the production line plans. Musk's attention underscores the strategic importance of this affordable electric car project for Tesla. 
especially following considerable controversy over the Cybertruck's pricing. Musk's hands-on approach demonstrates a commitment to ensuring that every aspect of the production process aligns with Tesla's high standards for innovation and quality. When Musk talks about advancing with the Model 2, it could suggest that the final stages are already completed or that production has commenced, with only the official launch date awaiting announcement. How was the Model 2's first production plant and new production location confirmed? We will be making, the, 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 the first production line will be here in the Gigafactory in Texas, in, in, in this facility. Oh, I thought it was gonna be in Mexico or something. That'll be the second place. The launch timeline could potentially commence in early 2025, with the first confirmed production location being none other than Giga Austin, Texas. As Musk shared, it would take too much time to complete the factory in Mexico. The reality is that this plant cannot be finished before 2026 due to delayed construction and ongoing setbacks. After all, we can be certain that the Model 2 launch event will take place in Texas in the near future. To depict the impressions of Tesla's fifth Gigafactory, he passionately asserted its level of manufacturing technology exceeds that of any automotive plant on Earth. The most significant reason, alongside being a factory equipped with the most advanced machinery, is that the assembly team at the Texas plant is confidently considered to have top-tier knowledge. Musk had previously faced challenges in convincing them to relocate to the Mexico plant. Therefore, bringing the Model 2 to Texas is an incredibly illogical and fitting choice. Musk mentioned that there will be an expansion added to the south of the Austin factory, as well as additional buildings to accommodate other models. This expansion is just a small part of the 2,000 acres of the Texas facility. The Model 2 can be fully produced in large quantities here without concerns about factory space. If Giga Berlin was also publicly confirmed by Musk to be the production site for the Model 2 for the European market last month, then this December, some coincidences indicate that Giga Shanghai will be the fourth location chosen to bring this third-generation electric car into production for the Asian market. The truth is that the production line at the Asian factory is significantly faster than in Texas. We've learned that the Texas plant takes 76 seconds to roll out a car, while the Shanghai plant only takes 37 seconds. The reason Model 2 is speculated to expand production here is believed to be because the manufacturer plans to continue building the Phase 3 area of the Gigafactory in Shanghai. The construction could pave the way for Tesla to produce the next generation of affordable electric cars, which is highly anticipated in China. Secondly, the early production of the Model 2 in China could be part of a strategy to regain market share and revenue for Tesla as the manufacturer is losing its edge. In the increasingly competitive Chinese market, where rivals like BYD and Xpeng continue to launch both premium and affordable models, the 6-year-old Model 3 and 4-year-old Model Y are facing less competition than when they were first introduced. The next significant growth for Tesla is expected to depend on the new third-generation car. This is a key product for Tesla to achieve its annual sales target of 20 million vehicles by 2030. Industry insiders speculate that if it can be successfully deployed, this model could be the future production centerpiece for the Phase 3 area of the Shanghai factory. Firstly, the choice of Gigafactory Texas as the initial production location is due to numerous advantages including a business-friendly environment close to crucial supply chains and a highly skilled workforce. Additionally, Texas's significant investment in renewable energy sources aligns with Tesla's sustainability goals. This location also facilitates easy access to major markets in the United States, providing favorable conditions for the smoother distribution of the Model 2. In the conversation with Musk, Monroe expressed the viewpoint that an affordable Tesla could significantly harm its competitive rivals. This makes sense as Tesla's built a global brand, and with a vehicle that's accessible to anyone, competitors such as Volkswagen, GM, or Nissan become more concerned than ever. The introduction of this affordable electric car is a game-changer for Tesla. Known for its high-priced models, this move represents a breakthrough for Tesla into a market segment that the company has not extensively explored. It demonstrates Tesla's commitment not only to leading the market, but also to democratizing the electric vehicle market, making sustainable transportation accessible to the public at an affordable price. So, how do you feel about what Musk has shared about Model 2, and what do you expect about its design, operating parameters, and launch time? We appreciate your thoughts. 
Known for creating incredibly cool gadgets and vehicles like the boring company's flamethrower and Tesla Cybertruck, so you'll never know if any of these cool concepts that Elon Musk teases actually come true. Tesla bus could be on those interesting lists as the total global bus market is expected to be $24 billion by 2025, and the compound growth process is still ongoing. Tesla's plan to produce this car model truly brings a new world to the future of commerce. How will Tesla create a breakthrough in their product line? How will the Tesla bus be different from other electric buses? Tesla CEO Elon Musk once revealed in the Master Plan Part 2 that Tesla will begin developing an autonomous electric commercial vehicle for humans. Tesla thought heavy trucks would dramatically reduce freight costs while increasing safety and security, which made operating a Tesla truly exciting and the advent of self-driving capabilities. Perhaps it would make sense to shrink the size of a bus and convert the bus driver's role to that of a fleet manager, which would mean the bus would be smaller and lighter than a delivery truck. Due to its large size, the Tesla bus will use a 300 kilowatt hour LFP battery. That's not a lie. We see that thanks to the revelations of the Tesla master plan. We expect the company's first passenger vehicle to borrow heavily from the design of the Tesla Semi not only in terms of design, but also powertrain and architecture. That said, its battery is smaller than the Tesla Semi 500 and 800 kilowatt hour packs. So the price of the Tesla bus could be around $120,000, while the price of the Tesla Semi is expected to start from $180,000 to $250,000, depending on the battery structure. Meanwhile, we found that BYD's K7M bus with a 266 kilowatt hour battery structure also has a similar price. With a consumption of less than two kilowatt hours per mile based on the LFP battery structure equipped on the Tesla Semi, the design on heavy trucks, however, causes its range to be significantly reduced. Therefore, the operating range of the Tesla bus can be easily predicted because it is designed with only the cover and frame along with rows of passenger seats inside. The heaviest part is probably just the structure of the battery. The range we estimate is about 350 miles on a single charge. With an interior seating designed for 12 people, it is suitable for a compact design for Tesla's bus that can operate in tunnels. It seems that the middle row of seats was removed to reduce space in the car. The big deal here is that Tesla's electric bus will certainly stand out from the rest. With the Tesla Semi's sleek, structurally engineered exterior, delivering on the promise of the lowest drag coefficient on the market. Tesla Semi has a revealed drag coefficient of 0.22 CD because of its impressive bullet-shaped design. And you can see it through the Cybertruck, another electric pickup truck with a design that you've never seen before, which also happens to the space transportation industry, including SpaceX, with its rapid transporter and reusable products. Everything seems to be coming true based on Elon Musk's promise, whether good or not, as most of us expected, but is already there. Since the first Tesla electric vehicle entered service decades ago as a beam of sunlight streaming into the American sky, the world has seemed enthralled by the promise of mobility. Zero emissions and innovative design, since then, we've had the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y, Tesla Semi, and the latest arrival of Cybertruck promised to bring future hype. So Tesla's product line will soon be handled by a self-driving electric bus and a reveal by Elon Musk. With the Cybertruck recently beginning deliveries and entering official operation, and the Roadster yet to make an appearance, the smaller Model 2 still remains on Tesla's secretive roadmap, suggesting that it may take several more years before we see those newer models. This comprehensive roadmap not only discusses Tesla's internal products, but also outlines a trajectory through which Elon Musk believes his company can reshape the world by enabling the adoption of clean energy. Musk has consistently held ambitious aspirations, sometimes yet to materialize, but in all aspects of part three of his plan, at least, we finally have specific specifications for the new vehicle models. What will help complete Tesla's construction of the Tesla bus? After the boring company secured an agreement to construct a loop for the San Bernardino County featuring a 12-passenger electric bus mentioned in the project, 
The initiative includes establishing a dense underground tunnel network for efficient transit on sustainable highways at speeds of up to 124 miles per hour. Additionally, the project envisions stations no larger than a single parking space, allowing seamless integration into the urban landscape compared to existing subway or train stations. Furthermore, the project aims to provide an urban loop system with hundreds of small stations covering all city areas, making it easier and faster to commute from one area to another. Looking further into the future, Tesla will continue to advance its self-driving technology, enabling all these vehicles, including cars, trucks, and buses, to operate autonomously. If you've ever dreamed of living in a city without cars, accelerating through underground tunnels from one location to another within your town, your dream may come true with the Senate Bus of the Future, addressing public transportation challenges for pedestrians and cyclists. In addition, Megapack powers an electric bus depot, and along with solar panels, it enables independent energy supply, showcasing the feasibility of running public transportation on electricity with significant advantages. Tesla began discussing expansion into commercial segments years ago with the introduction of its comprehensive master plan. These buses seem tailored for use in the boring company's Las Vegas loops. However, these buses are not only set to lead the American bus market, but also contribute to substantial fuel savings compared to traditional heavy-duty vehicles. The initial vision for the Vegas loop includes 51 stations and 29 miles of tunnels demonstrating substantial confidence in Musk's idea of an underground Tesla bus network. The integration of Megapack and solar panels emphasizes Tesla's commitment to sustainable and independent energy solutions for public transportation. Furthermore, some associated benefits of this improvement include an electric bus that reduces air pollution by not emitting exhaust gases, in contrast to traditional diesel or gasoline vehicles, leading to a decrease in air pollution. Additionally, electric buses cause minimal noise pollution, running nearly silently compared to other motorized vehicles, contributing to much quieter roads and improved urban living conditions. This leads to enhanced urban living conditions and cost savings, since electricity prices tend to be lower than fuel costs. With no engines running all day, as seen in current petrol-powered fleets, electric buses and trucks are becoming more popular, helping customers save on fuel and maintenance bills. In 2017, mayors of 12 major cities committed to ambitious goals and initiatives to make their cities greener, healthier, and more prosperous. Among these goals was the commitment to only purchase electric buses starting in 2025. The initiative is likely to be well-received in the electric bus industry as it involves several major cities with significant public transportation fleets. The Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transit Authority, LA Metro, has committed to a complete transition to electric buses by 2030. Elon Musk's overall plan outlines Tesla's autonomous technology, potentially downsizing the scale of buses and transitioning the role of bus drivers to fleet managers. The electrification plan will also save money for cities, as electric buses require less maintenance and repairs compared to traditional buses. Reliable and efficient electric buses also provide the opportunity to attract more drivers away from their emission-producing vehicles, making the air cleaner and reducing congestion. Large electric bus companies such as BYD are currently placing significant orders for electric buses in the U.S. According to newly released data, the number of large zero-emission transit buses in the U.S. has increased 66% since 2021. Of these, 5,480 full-size zero-emission transit buses have been funded and ordered and delivered in the U.S. in 2022. During third quarter of 2023, electric bus and battery manufacturer Proterra, bus dealer ABC Companies, and California utility PG&E opened North America's largest electric bus charging center. In less than two years, more than 20% of ABC Companies' passenger vehicle sales are battery electric vehicles, so they'll essentially continue to invest in strategic tasks such as chargers to support their products. Likewise, Tesla's development of megacharger charging stations promises to extend Elon's promise of a future for commercial buses. This is actually the only planned vehicle in Tesla's master plan, and Elon Musk has also talked about Tesla producing an electric minibus based on the previous Model X, but it has not yet come to fruition. 
So, how do you think Tesla will realize bus production? The Cybervan seems poised to join Tesla's newest lineup, boasting an astounding range of up to 400 miles coupled with an enticingly affordable price tag of 40,000 US dollars. This project stands as Tesla's most ambitious undertaking yet, heralding a breakthrough that's poised to revolutionize the commercial industry. But what exactly does the Cybervan have in store for you? What will it take for the Cybervan to compete with other models? Based on available evidence, the Cybervan is set to be constructed using the chassis structure of the Cybertruck. This strategic choice is expected to maintain reasonable production costs for the Cybervan, keeping its market retail price within the range of forty to sixty thousand dollars. Should the Cybervan adopt a truck-like design for transportation purposes? this price bracket would position it favorably against existing competition. Moreover, design features have been integrated to facilitate its effortless conversion into a camper van, a concept enthusiastically embraced by followers who value the practicality of a compact truck. The Cybervan's shell is crafted based on the Cybertruck, utilizing stainless steel metal. It's assumed that Tesla will employ a silver-white metal plate, a akin to that of the Cybertruck. This eliminates the paint option, reducing production costs, and streamlining the production line by minimizing unnecessary complexity. Additionally, aerodynamics have always been a key factor in bolstering Tesla's range and travel performance. A prime example is the Tesla Semi, a heavy-duty truck boasting a drag coefficient of just 0.22 CD, an impressive figure unveiled by Tesla's designer. Anticipated to follow suit, the Cybervan is a expected to feature an angular design rather than traditional curves. Presently, Ford's 2023 e-transit delivery truck starts at around $52,000, while GM's Bright Drop Zevo 600, utilized by delivery services like FedEx, commences at a starting price of $85,000. Tesla has provided valuable insights through a series of clues. A pivotal clue, surfaced during Tesla's Investor Day presentation, showcasing forecasts for the company's entire global electric vehicle fleet. Notably, the Cybertruck is depicted alongside an obscured vehicle resembling a van behind a digital panel, alongside a smaller electric vehicle segment compared to Tesla's previous models. This strongly hints at the ongoing development of the Cybervan. In a market where competitors offer vehicles with estimated ranges spanning from 200 to 250 miles, Tesla might target an exceeding range of 250 miles. This range adequately caters to the needs of many, particularly for commercial vehicles operating within townships, facilitating tasks such as grocery pickups or package deliveries without necessitating long-distance travel. However, the standard truck market is diverse, accommodating various use cases. While acknowledging that some businesses may demand optimal range, Tesla could potentially leverage an advantage by offering options surpassing the 300-mile mark and potentially even reaching 400 miles for personal use. Nonetheless, an extended range entails a larger battery, and herein lies a potential challenge for Tesla's van amidst the ongoing supply shortage. This shortage might limit innovation and competitive capabilities for Tesla's van due to the need for larger batteries. So then how will Tesla deliver a stunning design that appeals to customers? Musk has progressively shared more explicit details regarding his vision for a van in recent years. In his master plan part de, he coined it as a high-density urban transport vehicle. Moreover, in July of 2022, Musk tweeted about the concept of a configurable van suitable for both passengers and cargo, eliciting enthusiastic responses from his followers. Successive unveilings of Cybervan designs have provided glimpses of a forward-looking aesthetic that harmonizes with the industrial essence of the Cybertruck. Speaking of the Cybertruck, it appears that this model could significantly influence the design philosophy behind the Tesla van. Consequently, what can we anticipate from the Tesla van or the Cybervan based on the existing evidence? Reasonable speculation suggests its potential to accommodate a substantial number of passengers, 
by incorporating rear seat options. Envisioned with a futuristic design that complements the industrial allure of the Cybertruck, a van inspired by this iconic model might preserve the stainless steel exoskeleton that has enraptured numerous enthusiasts. This innovation is significant as conventional vans often exhibit signs of wear, particularly rust formation on exposed frame areas. Hence, the incorporation of a stainless steel frame structure holds promise as a cost reduction factor in cybervan production. Moreover, the sliding door design would bring desirable practicality for camping trips, seamlessly transforming the van into a mobile home. How could this vision become a reality? Taking cues from the GM Brightdrop EV600, renowned for its spaciousness with dimensions of 288 inches in length and 107 inches in height, it's evident that a van of such proportions could offer ample interior space for multifaceted functionalities. Considering Musk's perspective on the Cybervan's size, where he emphasized the need for the Tesla camper to surpass the Model X in size, it's plausible to assume that the Tesla van might measure around 250 inches in length, fitting neatly within Tesla's compact standards. Furthermore, Tesla stands out as one of the most accessible national solar installation providers. Despite numerous solar installation companies available across the country, Tesla remains one of the largest, installing solar panels and unique solar roof installations in all 50 states. Their commitment to competitive pricing compared to solar panel competitors adds weight to the integration of solar panels into the van's roof, offering potential for harnessing renewable energy to power various functions within the vehicle, a truly feasible and eco-friendly option. Additionally, the recent discovery of Starlink technology being incorporated into the Cybertruck, evident from the visible Starlink mobility dish on the Tesla Cybertruck, implies that the satellite internet system can be seamlessly integrated into electric vans. This revelation is particularly intriguing, especially given the design of the high-performance flat Starlink mobility dish, which is intended to be affixed to vehicles and adaptable for any position in the future. This revelation gains prominence as the Cybervan is slated for production in 2026, coinciding with the anticipated stabilization of the Starlink infrastructure. The strides made in Tesla's ecosystem integration truly signify the promise of a dream product, offering comprehensive utilities for users and delivery fleets alike. If initial estimates regarding the Cybertruck's battery size hold true, and if the Tesla van is constructed on the Cybertruck chassis rather than the Model X, the Tesla van could boast a battery pack of up to 200 kilowatt hours, potentially reduced to 100 kilowatt hours for the base model. This substantial boost in battery production comes at a time when the industry grapples with the scarcity of battery raw materials. Equipping the Cybervan with the new CATL M3P battery is poised to revolutionize battery technology and performance. Official data reveals that the M3P battery developed by CATL operates on a new material system with an energy density of 210 watt hours per kilogram, approximately 15% higher than lithium iron phosphate batteries. This innovation has proven to increase the driving range of the Model 3 produced in the Shanghai factory by 10%. Moreover, the cost of the M3P battery is on par with lithium iron phosphate batteries and lower than third tier lithium batteries. Blending the cathode material of the CATL M3P battery with third tier lithium and iron phosphate manganese lithium materials addresses concerns related to short cycle life and high resistance observed in lithium iron phosphate batteries. Interestingly, General Motors, a rival of Tesla, produces the Ultium battery utilizing the nickel cobalt manganese aluminum or NCMA design to meet the power demands akin to the potential Cybervan. However, GM's Ultium battery still incorporates cobalt, a contributing factor to the challenges faced in current electric vehicle manufacturing costs. Now, what features will set the Cybervan apart from the rest? 
the Cybervan stands poised to integrate autonomous driving capabilities, a testament to Musk's concentrated efforts toward developing robotaxis and advancing the Cybervan. In early November, Musk announced the impending release of Tesla's full self-driving, or FSD, version 12, projected within a fortnight. Musk's penchant for optimistic timelines has often raised eyebrows, yet indications suggest Tesla is making substantial strides in the deployment process. Musk corroborated the information via Twitter, affirming Tesla's commencement of FSD version 12 deployment among employees. This update is anticipated to remove the beta level from the self-driving feature. Initially rolled out to employees on a smaller scale compared to prior updates, this gradual approach seems rational considering the magnitude of changes in this version. The timing of this internal release synchronizes with two pivotal events for Tesla. The imminent Cybertruck delivery event commands attention offering Tesla a platform to showcase its latest breakthrough. Simultaneously, the highly anticipated holiday update, renowned as the year's premiere update, is on the horizon. Tesla's latest public FSD build version 11.4.7.3 stands a few revisions behind the current production builds. Thus, the advent of version 12 is anticipated to bring beta FSD testers up to speed with Tesla's latest features, including predictive charger availability, expedited hazard light response post incidents, and other enhancements present in updates 2023.32 and 2023.32. In terms of the improvements in FSD, the release notes for FSD version 12 are yet to be unveiled. However, the deployment among employees signals imminent discovery of the enhancements accompanying this substantial release. A noteworthy change in version 12 involves the removal of over 300,000 lines of code that formerly governed FSD functions for vehicle control, now leaning more on the Dojo Neural Network. This transition signifies reduced reliance on hard-coded programming. FSD version 12 marks the first instance where the neural network controls steering, acceleration, and braking beyond its prior role of obvious object detection and attribute determination. This marks a significant leap in Tesla's FSD technology. Musk describes it as an end-to-end -end AI, employing human-like optical processing methods, signaling Tesla's ambition to mirror human decision-making within its vehicles. Labeled Baby AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, this new version aims to perceive and comprehend the complexities of the real world, gradually evolving in sophistication. The deployment of FSD version 12 marks a pivotal juncture in Tesla's AI. AI and autonomous vehicle journey. It's not just about technological prowess, but also adapting AI to accommodate the diverse behaviors of humans. With Musk's persistent focus on AI evident in his ambitious projects, Tesla maintains a prominent stance in the electric vehicle market and the broader AI revolution. As we await more detailed information regarding the public release of FSD version 12 and its potential unveiling at the Cybertruck event, it's evident that Tesla edges closer to a future where cars are not just self-driving, but also intelligent and adaptable to the intricacies of real-world technology. Why is the Cybervan a crucial product for Tesla's future? Tesla has broadened its vehicle lineup encompassing two sedans, two SUVs, a pickup, and a sports car. While these vehicles span diverse markets, Tesla's overarching objective to hasten the shift towards sustainable energy has prompted the company to engage in all major vehicle categories, including commercial trucks seen from a consumer perspective at a commercial scale. Although the commercial truck sector might seem relatively small, its market scale is undeniably significant. Projections indicate a global increase in the commercial vehicle market from $1.35 trillion 
in 2022 to $1.71 trillion in 2029. The North American commercial vehicle market, standing at $581 billion in 2022, plays a pivotal role in this projection. A significant portion of this market comprises light commercial vehicles ranging from pickups and trucks to three-wheelers. Notably, trucks dominate the light commercial vehicle market share, which continues to expand over time. Tesla's core mission has perpetually aimed to propel the world towards sustainable energy. In the context of commercial trucks, the company recognizes their pivotal role in expediting the conversion process, evident in Elon Musk's unveiling of the truck. Musk's analysis of the pickup truck industry highlighted the lack of innovations and scarcity of electric pickup trucks. This scarcity presents a unique challenge, identifying a pickup truck that genuinely encapsulates the brand's essence. Musk emphasizes the urgent need for something distinct and sustainable in the energy landscape to ensure the existence of a viable pickup. The commercial truck market mirrors the pickup truck market, characterized by limited innovations despite its vast scale. A tangible illustration of this market's potential is Amazon's order for 100,000 delivery trucks from Rivian, placed even before the product's completion. This sector harbors substantial opportunities, a fact well acknowledged by Musk. Recognizing the necessity for a breakthrough, it seems Tesla is poised to introduce a new breed of commercial trucks, likely extending beyond the success of the Cybertruck. While Tesla actively pursues sedans and SUVs, emphasizing luxury models, Rivian appears more inclined towards catering to outdoor adventure lifestyles. Rivian's collaboration with Amazon on delivery trucks augurs well for practical and practical and efficient commercial use, an area where Tesla's focus seems relatively less pronounced currently, potentially due to differing business priorities. Despite this, I am confident in the earning potential of the Model 3, the Model Y, and the Tesla van. However, how Tesla allocates funds and navigates future model releases hinges on battery production scaling. As the Cybervan embarks on its production journey, its tenure remains uncertain. The expectations for this vehicle are vast, given the trajectory of innovation and success established by Tesla's prior endeavors. That's it for today, thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed it, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. You can also turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on any of our amazing videos. We appreciate your feedback and your time, and so we hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have fun.